And now bring your hands to the center of your chest. Close your eyes and raise them up to the point right between your eyebrows. Relax your lips. Relax your tongue. Relax your jaw. And begin to rub your hands. Just rub them and feel the heat. And then press them. Take the thumbs right at the center of your chest. Press them in. Let the shoulders drop down and the neck grow tall. The eyes are rolled up. And inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale through your nose. We'll begin today with the sounds Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Om, where the tip of the tongue goes to the roof of the mouth. Namo. Guru, which means teacher. Dev Namo. It means I bow to that creative wisdom and I bow to that teacher on the inside of myself. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Three times and inhale deeply to begin. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Take your legs out and bring the bottoms of your feet together quite a distance away from you. Reach down towards your ankles and begin a slow grind around. Bring it way to the back. Once you see how to do an exercise, then close your eyes. Roll them upward to that third eye point between your eyebrows called your pituitary gland. That gland directly connects to your baby. And keep rolling, looking upward, keeping the face relaxed. Now stretch a little bit more forward, stretching the heart. Way to your back. Stretch again, this time pull the shoulders back as your heart comes forward and keep it going. Just get lost in the movement. Take it the opposite direction. Hear the music. Hear your own breath. And just dance at the base of your spine. And remember as you move and you enjoy the movement and you feel better from the movement, your baby feels better also. Your baby loves to move like this. They feel secure and unafraid. Now hold on, come up, stretch, bring your chin up. Exhale, roll to the way back of the buttocks. Press your chin into your chest. Inhale, up again. Let the heart lift. Let the belly lift. And exhale, roll back. Take your time. You've got all the time in the world. Relax your shoulders. Now inhale and take your right arm up. And let it float down. Bring your chin into your chest. Roll way back. Inhale, up, left and take it down and take it up a little bit faster and inhale 
and exhale. And inhale, pull the shoulders back. Good, roll through the pelvis. Up, rolling way back on your tailbone. Reach up, reach down, create a rhythm. Imagine your baby going for a wonderful ride in his or her carriage, which is your pelvis. Up and back down. Now inhale, both arms up. Open your eyes, look at the ceiling. And exhale, close your eyes. Bring your hands down, chin into your chest. Inhale, look up. Exhale, close your eyes, back down. Last two times. Inhale up, pressing the bottoms of your feet towards each other. And last time, inhale up, open your eyes, try not to blink. And exhale down, good. Take your legs straight out and bring the arms up. Arms straight and stretch right and left. And then look to your right, reach. Look to your left. Reach and let the body flow and flow and flow and flow. Now close your eyes. Feel the stretch all the way down your sides. Feel it down into your hips. Let yourself feel in this hour rather than think by following the breath and feeling from the inside of you. Right hand comes down, but elbow stays straight. Take your left arm over. Swing it up and over. Elbow straight. Let the head hang. Eyes closed. And bring it up. Now take it over and let the elbow bend just a little bit. But keep that opposite buttocks tight to the floor. It's a stretch, not a lift. Bring it back up. Let the face stay soft. And the mind stays soft. You have no place to go and nothing to do. Just being here with your baby. And keep it going. Now this time we're going to take it over and bring the elbow to the floor. Stretch, hold. Reach that upper arm high. As though you want to paint the sky. Opposite, down. And swing it up. Bring both arms up. Squeeze your heels off the floor. Squeeze your calves and your knees. And let it go. Take your hands behind you. Face your fingers towards your buttocks and stretch. Arch high. Press your pubic bone down. Lift your baby up. Stretch your breast, throat, head up and then roll back down. Bring your chin into your chest. Relax for a moment. Elbows bent. Inhale, come up, stretch. Feet straight up, heels off the floor if you can. And roll back down. Now take your right arm off and really stretch it back. Lean and bring it down. Opposite, pull up, stretch. And bring it down, good. Now still in this posture, take your right leg, begin to circle the ankle outward, down, and around. Now close your eyes and feel it on the inside of you. Try to keep the calves, the knees, and the thighs strong as steel. Circle for good circulation to avoid varicose veins to keep the circulation going good in your feet, to keep swelling down. Take your toes, pull them up, squeeze, and let it go. Take your left leg. Sometimes we have more trouble with the left leg. It's ruled by the moon, the left side of our body, the emotional side of our bodies. Let it turn. Good. Now take it the opposite direction. Squeeze those toes up and let it come down. Come up a little bit closer, hands to your buttocks, and take your left toes straight down and your right toes up. Get your heels off the ground if you can, and then switch. 
good. This is a real good brain exercise, balancing the left and <laughs> right side of your brain. We like to make sure everything still keeps working when we're pregnant. Keep it going. You're doing good. Try to get the heels off the ground because that's going to work your calves. It's going to work your knees. It's going to work your thighs. And your thighs balance the minerals in your body. Okay, keep it going. Last ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take both toes up towards your head. Squeeze and let it go. Shake your legs out. And then with a pointed right foot, bring it up one inch and down and left and right. And squeeze the legs as tight as you can while you do this all the way up into your buttocks. Good circulation in your legs is important so you don't get swelling. You don't get varicose veins. And everything works good from the baby down. Keep going. You can keep walking. Every day walking up to five miles a day. You can't do anything better for yourself in your pregnancy than to walk outdoors and to do yoga. Last six. Breathe. One, two. Stop if it ever gets too much for you. Three, you ever get out of breath. Four, five, and six. Good. Just let your legs relax. Inhale, stretch your head up. And exhale, roll down. Now take your legs a little bit wider. Bring your right arm up and then your left arm. And we're going to go rowing. Bring the arms down and bring the chin into the chest. And then inhale up, stretch over the toes, and row the boat back. Row it back, row it up, and stretch forward good. And roll it back. Stretch up like a celebration, and take it forward. And row, and stretch good. And forward, last three. And roll, it feels so good at the base of the spine. And forward, last two, roll. And up, and forward. Last time, roll. And up, hold it there. And just let your hands come down behind you. Bring the feet up. Fingertips facing your buttocks. Inhale up as high as you can go. Let the head drop back, totally relax. And slowly exhale down, chin into your chest. Push through the earth. Push your feet, push your palms up. Bring it back. Back down, chin rests into your chest. Last time. Inhale up and bring it back down good. Take your legs right from here and open up. 